Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to be showing you how to make a medicinal mushroom tincture. So normally we grow our mushrooms indoors, um, but there are a few varieties that we like to grow outdoors on logs, most of which are medicinal mushrooms. So next to where I'm stood here, there's a few piles of logs that we've inoculated, some last year and some this year. Um, so we've got lion's mane over here. We've got a pile of piopino logs here. We've got a load of reishi logs. And behind me over there, we have a, a load of uh, shiitake logs as well. And what happens is the mushroom spawn, when you put it into the logs, it then takes between 12 to 18 months to spread across the log. And here's one which we did about 16 months ago, a shiitake log. You can see when it gets towards full colonization, you start to see the mycelium appearing at the end of the log. And you can actually smell uh, the, the kind of characteristics of shiitake from the end of that log as well now. Over there in the corner, we also have a patch where we've buried some ready colonized reishi logs under the ground and that's how they like to fruit. So over the next six to 12 months, we're hoping to see them starting to pop up out of the ground. And when they come up and also the shiitake will be harvesting, drying them and turning them into medicinal tinctures. So reishi is, is one of my favorite medicinal mushrooms of all. Not only is it absolutely beautiful, it has really potent medicinal properties and medicinal mushrooms are, are in general, there's a few varieties that are particularly uh, beneficial to us that can bring us um, a boost to the immune system. Some have been shown to inhibit the growth of tumors. Some like lion's mane, for example, can also help people that have got Alzheimer's um, in helping to regrow the nervous system in our brain. So these are amazing medicines, but the thing is you need to know how to extract the beneficial compounds from them. So that's what we're gonna be showing you today. So let's go inside and, and have a look at a step-by-step -step process of how we can make these tinctures. So we're here in our mixing room, which we normally use for mushroom production for our indoor, indoor cultivation. But today I'm gonna to use it to show you how to do a dual extraction. So the aim here is to give you an overview of what is needed in terms of um, materials and inputs. And then also I'll talk you through how to do it. What we've got here, let's first start with the mushrooms. So we've got some turkey tail here, some dried shiitake that we've grown ourselves here. We got some maitake powder here, reishi powder and cordyceps powder. And we want to use all of those to get the maximum number of benefits out of these mushrooms. Right, so that said, what we want to get out of these mushrooms are polysaccharides. And polysaccharides are quite easy to extract. They're water soluble. So you could choose to just and put them in water and extract them that way. We're going a step on because if you do it that way, you'd miss out on quite a few compounds. You'd miss out on what are called phenolics and terpenoids. And those are best extracted using alcohol. So I'll talk you through what we've got here and then later on I'll come back and show you how to use it and in which proportions. I mentioned we've got the mushrooms here. We've got the alcohol here. We chose vodka because basically it's really easy to source. And on the alcohol, what you want is to have at least 40% alcohol by volume. And that's equivalent to 80 proof. So I've got a couple of Kilner jars here. They're also known as Mason's jars in the US. So this represents what we need to do the alcohol extraction. Water extraction is all the stuff that we've got here. So we've got a Pyrex pot. You can do this on your hob at your kitchen at home, of course, but we've got a little burner here. We want to fill about 10 of these little dropper bottles. They're 100 milliliters each. And just for reference, Paul Stamets, the famous mycologist in the US, he sells a 100 milliliter of product for about $20. So we'll be producing over here well over $400 worth of tinctures. That said, let's go into the step-by-step -step guide on how to do this. Right, so step one, let's get some of these mushrooms into the jars. So I'm gonna put the powders in first and then some of the dried mushrooms. I'm gonna put 25 grams of each into each jar. Great, so I've measured it all out. I'm just gonna move this to one side and now we'll add in roughly half a liter to each. Now you'll have noticed I haven't filled it to the top and that is because there's some dehydrated material in there that will obviously expand when it interacts with the alcohol again. So I'm gonna put the lids on here 
and then we'll need to give it a bit of a shake. We're going to put it away for a few weeks. You can do that for two to six weeks. It is important, however, that you shake the bottle. I'll do that in a minute. And then however long you leave it, at least for the first two weeks, you need to go and shake it regularly as well. And then the step after that is making the decoction. And that's the next step. We'll need the Pyrex pot, we'll apply heat and we'll get a nice reduction going. And that completes step one. So we're back here in the mixing room for the next stage of this process of making a dual extraction. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to filter these jars. You remember that's where we've got the mushroom material plus the vodka. I'm going to filter it so we'll get a clear extraction. We're going to put that to one side and then we're going to reuse the mushroom material in a hot water decoction. Filter this out. I've got here muslin cloth that I'll use. The reason we use the muslin cloth is that you can pour it in and then you can squeeze it. And then I've got one more tip for you. With the jars, you, not, you don't want to shake it just before you do this process because ideally you'd have much more sediment at the bottom then and it makes it easier to filter out. So let's just do this. So this muslin cloth, I folded it over a few times to make a really sort of fine filter and that, the reason behind that is, you'll remember, I put quite a lot of powder into this mix. If you use some dried mushrooms, some larger material, you don't need a, a filter as fine as this. So I'm just going to mix it around and apply a bit of pressure just to speed things up a little bit. So I've squeezed a lot of the liquid out there now. I'm going to put some of this mushroom material in there. Don't worry about the proportions at this moment. I'll just come back to that in a bit. But I first want to filter all of this out. All right, so the final step of this process, as Eric mentioned, is to do a water extraction. So we've got our mushrooms in there that he's already uh, extracted from the alcohol and filtered that out which we've got left in our bottle here. And the next step is to extract out all the beneficial compounds with water. And we do that basically by just boiling or simmering it for a couple of hours. And in that time, it, it draws out all of the polysaccharides, the beneficial compounds from the mushrooms. So it's important to note, you can just do this stage on its own. You can just do a, a water decoction like this and extract out a lot of the beneficial compounds just with water no need for the alcohol. However, using the alcohol and this dual extract process does draw out the full spectrum of benefits. So, and it's, to be honest, it's not a, a particularly difficult step to do the alcohol, so um, it's worth doing both of them together combined. So all we're going to do on this step, we're just going to bring it up to the boil and let it simmer for a couple of hours. And we'll notice that this water, at the moment we've got about a litre and a half of water in there and it's going to just slowly boil itself down to around about half a litre. Uh, at that point we'll filter it and mix it with our half a litre of alcohol extract and combine the two together. It's possible that it could boil dry and burn the material inside so do keep a close eye on it, don't have it on too high a heat and if you see that it's starting to get a bit low just top it up with a bit more water until two hours have passed and at that point you'll have a really nice concentrated uh, water decoction. All right let's get on with it. All right, so this has been boiling down now for two hours and we kept a close eye on it. At one point it was starting to get a bit low and we topped it up with water. Um, but at this point we've got this amazing thick sludgy kind of mud like consistency and the smell is amazing. It's, it smells like hot chocolate almost, um, but also extremely mushroomy and a bit bitter. This is wonderful. We've got all of the uh, compounds that we're looking for have been extracted out into this liquid. But because the liquid is a mix of powder and also some solid bits of dried mushroom, we need to separate that out. And um, we're going to do that now using some cheesecloth. I'm just going to pour all this into here. And at that point, we'll have our liquid extract separated out from our dried mushroom materials. So as you can see, it's a really messy process. You're likely to get mess everywhere, depending on exactly what tools you use. Just prepare yourself for that. All 
All right, so that does take a while squeezing it out of the uh, cheesecloth like that. And that's because we've got a lot of powder in there and it's very difficult to separate the water from the powder, but it's fine if you're just patient, you know, it took about five minutes or so of just squeezing it out. One tip for you when you do this at home is to wait till it's really cooled down because I could feel as I was squeezing it out there, it's actually still quite hot. So leave it for 45 minutes or so to cool off before you do that part of the process. So anyway, now what we've got is that lovely thick, almost sort of muddy like uh, concoction and we shall be mixing that in with the alcohol. We're gonna mix basically half and half so that we've got half of the alcohol extraction, half of the water extraction and then when they're combined that'll be our dual extraction tincture made. There's our final mix. The, the last step is just to put it into our smaller uh, tincture bottles. Uh, the way to take it is um, just to pull up a dropper full, which is usually around about a milliliter, depending on the size of your bottle, and you just have a little drop under your tongue. You have that once or twice a day, and that's it. And you really get the benefit from taking these mushrooms over a longer period of time. So, you know, you're not gonna uh, notice a huge difference just by having one dose like that, but if you take them over, say, three months, for example, many people find they get a lot of benefit from that, and they start to feel healthier, boost their immune system or deal with any other issues that they might have. So there we have it. Earlier on the video we talked about all these benefits you can get from medicinal mushrooms and through this process we've shown you how you can get them all packed into a nice little uh, bottle of, of medicine like this and I'm really excited for when the mushrooms that we've got grown out there in the garden begin to, to grow and we can make another batch like this from our own mushrooms from the mushroom garden. So I hope you found this video useful. Subscribe to the channel if you want to hear more from us and I'll see you again. Yeah.